Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Faller, I'm an Evolutionary Astrologer and I'm here with the Evolutionary Astrology message for the week between the 25th of November and the 2nd of December 2017. <laughs> Time is flying by so fast, I'm getting older. Well, just sharing my innermost uh, fears and anxieties. No, I'm joking. So we have a packed week in the heavens. We have so much going on. Let's begin. We have on the 26th, we have Venus trining Chiron, the wounded healer. Venus, the planet of love, relationship, satisfaction, and income. And our body and our self-esteem is trining Chiron, the wounded healer. These are a couple of days that we could actually provide a healing, you know, bridge a gap that was created or, or, or fill a space that was um, created within us regarding relationships, regarding love, regarding the way we uh, bring in income to our life, regarding how we feel about our body and our self-esteem, regarding relationships. So all of these subjects are, um, are expansive these days and these couple of days. What I mean by expansive is that we can expand our consciousness. We can expand our horizons and get a wiser, greater understanding regarding what it is we need to do to better these subjects in our life. And what, once we do that, we can actually heal. We can actually provide a betterment to ourselves and people around us. But there is a condition there because the next day Venus is Queen Kongsing Uranus. <clears throat> and that means that there is a bit of clearing and purifying that needs to take place. So maybe some of the roles I play in front of the group, in front of other people, in my social circles, in my social life, friends, or some of my connections need some cleaning out, need some clearing out. In order for things to purify, I need to leave some things behind that are not really um, qualitative and, and, and positive for me anymore and make some room for the new. On the 26th, the moon is in Pisces, also conjunct Neptune. As I always say, this is a great day for right brain activities, not such a good day for left brain activities. So less um, calculating and analyzing. And if you do that on the 26th, um, don't, don't get too angry with yourself. If you're more forgetful, if you're uh, lazier, or if you are just, you know, discombobulated, you know, and, and feel foggy. Uh, but it's a great day for anything creative and anything spiritual or just, you know, uh, reconnecting to simple nature and, and the outside, you know, the vast, the, vast, uh, the vast outdoors, so to speak. So on the 28th, we have Mercury conjunct Saturn. We can feel it already from today or from a couple of days ago. Mercury, the planet of communication, of uh, log logical thought, of navigation, uh, is uh, conjuncting Saturn, the judge, the old teacher. And whenever we have this conjunction in the sky, our words are being measured, our thoughts and actions and navigation through life and decisions are being weighed and judged. And if they're feasible, if they withstand that test, if they can be counted on, we immediately get the authority uh, that we require. We immediately get the rank that we were lacking. But if they are not, we get the slap on our face immediately. It's a very short leash that the universe is holding us on at this time. And our action decision, and, sorry, our decisions and, 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 and words and ideas at this time count. We're being judged on that matter. So be really mindful of your decisions and the way you formulate them during the next few days because that could have long-term implications regarding especially your role in front of other people, aka your career. We also have that Mercury conjunct Saturn trining Uranus. So again, there could be some uh, assistance there. And yes, Georgia, you're coming in to say hello? Okay, come in to say hello. Bye. 
So there could be some assistance there and some info. Hello, Georgia. <coughs> yes. What? No, I'm in the middle of the video. Nothing you haven't heard before. She knows astrology. Anyway, so um, the fact that it has a trine with Uranus says that people around us, our social circles, uh, our friends, can actually provide us with information that would expand our consciousness, our horizons, and uh, help us help us make the right decisions. So people around you can be helpful. On that day, we have to be minded that we are extra sensitive because the moon is conjunct Chiron on the 28th and it's square Saturn. So we are a lot more sensitive and we're also sometimes more judgmental of ourselves and others. So just be more, um, you know, uh, lightweight and, and flowing and uh, round your corners at that day. On the 29th, we have the moon in Aries, square Pluto. It could be a little dramatic uh, emotionally. Step away from your emotion, be a little bit more logical, and don't give in to the, uh, you know, to the, uh, don't give in to the fire dance, you know, and, and, and start uh, whirling away yourself in the drama. Uh, it is a day to be a little uh, more considerate. It is a day to look at the other's points of view and not be obsessed with your own needs and wants. Uh, on the 30th, we have the Moon conjunct Uranus in Aries, oppositing Mars. This is also a day that we can have a little uh, too of a militant or aggressive approach to life, very short fuse. Uh, it is a day to think outside the box regarding our Mars, our uh, goals, our aspirations, our identity, our needs. Um, and the opposition to Mars talks about feedback coming from the group, coming from our social arena regarding those issues, regarding what we want to achieve and where we want to get forward and how we want to do it. And that feedback can tell us something like, hey, don't be so emotional, don't be so <coughs> um, Neanderthal regarding your approach. You know, um, you have to be more um, analytical and intellectual and use your higher brain and do it in a way which is more innovative and outside the box and not in the, uh, don't, don't, push your head in the brick wall, as Aries usually does. And that could be a time that, you know, we want to move things forward, but we see that we or our projects are not yet ripe enough, rega and uh, especially regarding how our environment and our friends and our society accepts that or does not accept that. So it could be not ripe enough socially. And on the second, we have a lot going on in the sky. First of all, we have Jupiter trine Neptune peaking. We can feel that uh, trine all through the week. It's a very, we talked about it in our last video, it's a very creative, very spiritual time in which we can expand our horizons in these subjects, in which we can become wiser, in which we can feel that the you know, the back noise, the white noise, the, the subtext of, of the whispering of the muses is quieter and calmer and we can actually converse with the muses at this time and be very fruitful with anything creative. Um, and it's a calming effect. So that's a good thing and that would be next weekend. So happy times next weekend. And on that day, we have also Ceres on the Norse node, Ceres is Demeter, the goddess of nature and bountifulness. And she's going over the North node in the first, the second, the third. So all these days, you know, the subjects of giving for the sake of giving, not asking for anything back, just giving from your own love in your own heart without expecting anything in return is, is on the, the table, you know. And in the same way, learning how to accept learning how to give and learning how to accept. And it is important that we are pure in these days regarding uh, that if we give something, we give it because we want to give it, not because we expect anything back. 
and, and learning how to be open enough to receive things from our loved ones in our life. And why is that so important? Because if we do these things right, these themes in our life right during these days, they could have long-term effects on us and on uh, uh, doors that are opening for us regarding how we need to progress our destiny. North Node. The not so happy theme is that Mercury is stationing on the second as well. It's heading into a retrograde in Sagittarius till around the 24th of December. As you know, Mercury retrogrades are times that our logic and our navigation and our uh, information processing does not work quite as well as we usually, uh, as it usually does. So we can have uh, more malfunctions and we need to check the small print and all the little details better. But it's certainly not a time to stop breathing and doing things in your life. And, you know, if things break, break down or if you need to sign a contract or buy a car or do anything, you know, I moved into my apartment and signed, signed the contract for this apartment on a Mercury retrograde. Maurice Fernandez, my astrology teacher, brought a car on a Mercury retrograde, which turned out to be an amazing car, which he was very happy with. So if things need to happen, make them happen, you know, don't stop and postpone them because uh, it's a Mercury retrograde, but don't plan them to a Mercury retrograde. If you, you're planning, then plan them for uh, after the Mercury retrograde. But if things need to happen within that, sure, just check the small details, make sure you're making the right decision, and then do that, you know. And if you're planning a trip or having some schedules planned out, just take some more time for delays or, or miscalculations or any, tr any uh, changes that could happen. That's about it. We're setting up a group for uh, beginners in evolutionary astrology. You can study with me through the smartphone or the computer each week from wherever you, round, uh, you are around the world. And we're uh, organizing a group for advanced astrologers as well in evolutionary astrology. If you want to study with me, let me know. And of course, every comment you have on this video, every like and every share exposes this video to more people. So I thank you for it. And of course, for private consultations, any questions you might have or for private lessons, I'll be very glad to hear from you. Thank you very much for listening. This is Boaz Feiler. Goodbye.